On today's episode of Watch Jergo, it is time to get back on to my $3,500 Corvette. We now know it was almost 10,000, but today we are going to detail it because it is dirty, dirty, dirty. And the tuner will be here at six. What is going on guys? I am Watch J Argo and today, like I said, we are going to detail. Uh-oh. We got a friend here. Can you guys see it? Come here, friend. Anyway, there's a spider and I'd like to crush it, but uh he needs to come out from under the hood there. Uh this thing's super dirty. Super, super, super dirty. Just everything on it. Um you can see it's just had dirt sitting everywhere. It even makes the whites look different. Obviously, one of the whites is different. This this whole section's good, but the uh, front bumper here is a clear repaint. They don't exactly match up, but that's no big deal. Like every C5 front bumper seems to have been a respray at some point in its life. But we're gonna get this thing over to the detail bay and they are going to clean this car up and I have a feeling it's gonna look amazing. We're gonna wash it inside in the Avalon King detail bay and we are going to uh, Avalon King it, obviously. I'm gonna ceramic coat it with a little Avalon King. And after that, I think the next step is get the seat sorted out after the tuner uh, takes it. I don't know how long he's gonna take it. I just told Chris, you know, come get it. Let me know when you're done with it because why not? Why, why doesn't he just go enjoy it and drive it? So hopefully he can go have some fun with it. Well, always starts right up. Well, there is one benefit to traction always being off. I tried to do a donut, but it pulled power. All right, we got the detail dudes here, the statue and Scott. So uh, they're gonna give us a once over on what's going down on the white C5. They're gonna do a full decon, get rid of some of this paint transfer. It's down over here Ooh, in this area. Sounds pretty rough right there. Uh, the scratches here and this. Oh yeah, that's covered in dirt. Gonna get rid of all that and uh, get this thing polished up and looking Get looking this, real nice again. The cowl all cleaned up and solution little, finish. A little Avalon King or some solution finish. Probably One, solution two. finish and then Avalon King over the top of it. Yep. And then figure out what's going on here is the biggest No one question. knows. I don't no know. No one knows. Yeah. What happened to the gas cap and why it's like there's paint and it that I mean it's it, been sanded. It it absolutely it's been has been sanded. Some somebody's worked on it, tried to and I don't know if they went through the clear. I don't know. I'd say it's through the clear. I, I, that's probably not savable. Probably not, <laughs> no. We're gonna try our best to save as much as we can. Awesome. All right, let's do some magic. I like how you're only in the pre-soak and dirt is falling out of this thing. C5 taillights are definitely one of the hardest things. Uh, after you wash this, they just immediately get dirty again where it drips down from underneath the taillights. And of course, everyone else's favorite area on the C5 under the mirrors right here, there's all these trails down. It's almost impossible to get. Statue starting out with a little pre-soak. Let's go straight to the time lapse. Well, after the first round, the car looks incredible, but that looks, uh, it's starting to stand out more and more. And there's still dirt just pouring out of every little crevice on this thing, so. Long way to go, uh, they're hitting it with some Iron X to get all of the dropping, fallout, stuff like that off of this. You guys can actually see the Iron X doing its work here. That purple stuff is all the contamination coming off. Pretty crazy how much is on this car. Now 
we start the really fun part. As you can see, uh, most of the exterior dirt is off of this thing, but the issue is we of course have to get all of this out of here, all the dirt around the back of the trunk. It's full of dog hair or cat hair, or some kind of animal hair. And uh, we got some leaves, we got some trash, so we're gonna start ripping everything out of here. Just take everything out of the interior to start with and go from there. And unfortunately the driver's seat doesn't move. How's that working out? Just wiping, pure, wiping out. Pure mud. Yeah. <laughs> Just minutes later, the car is blown apart. Check it out. We've got the top out, the hatch open, the seals have all been cleaned underneath. I mean, this was all just full of dirt, and it's much, much better. And Scott is back here removing all the dog hair. There was so much dog hair in this, like you guys saw. And take a look at it now. So Scott did all this with a little animal hair brush that just kind of pulls the hair off. It's all looking really good. This is the brush that he used. It worked super well. And, you know, Casey just did the floor mats while I was cleaning all the crevices and all that. So they're drying right now. They look incredible. I didn't even think these floor mats were going to be right again. They came back. They came back. They look back. Impressive. So those will be drying for quite a while. We're going to let those sit while we go eat and everything like that. So they'll be here for a couple hours and it should be really, really good. You can still see I'm throwing leaves and stuff out of the interior. And there's a lot of vacuuming and cleaning to do, but it's, it's coming back. The car's coming back to life. Look at this. This thing is popping. Getting there. Magic with the vacuum. They're doing the uh, plastic coating, rubber coating on the engine bay here. That's some really cool stuff called motor plast that's just designed for engine bays. And look at the back of this thing. Oh, yeah, there, this one is missing the ball as well. So. Yeah! Casey just went ahead and hit some test spots on this thing. Sorry, it's super loud in here. But you said this is a light polish? This is nothing here. Yep. There's a light polish here and a little bit heavier polish here. All single stage, just different, uh, different product. Well, all we can see in the camera is the light reflections, and they almost look best over here. And if we can see right here, and you can see the scratches in there. Right there, it looks okay, I think. I don't know. But overall, all of the debris, it's nice and smooth. Oh, so smooth. Yeah. So smooth, no debris. The majority of the scratches are out. It's just the deep, deep stuff that is left. Well, that's all we really need to hit on this. Not bad for a 22 year old car. Yeah, not bad at all. And while Darrell's vacuuming, I'm making the seats work. The seats were unhooked and all the covers were off them and everything. I assume they've been out a couple times. The passenger seat obviously is staying in there. So I got that hooked up and uh, Darrell's cleaning that up. It's looking really good. And now I'm about to get the driver's seat working, although we do have to take it back out, obviously, to get a new bottom uh, sewn in, patched in, whatever. But the passenger side, we're ready to go. And I'm excited about that. It's starting to look really good. Casey's starting on the polish back here. You can see Scott's, they've actually polished that side. He's wiping everything down. So Casey's got this thing ready to go here. And go ahead, man. Let's see what's magic. If you're wondering why it's wet, it's sprayed down with uh, O and R to keep it wet while they work over the panel. In preparation to laid the Avalon King ceramic, we have their IPA prep spray. So we'll give this a good wipe down and get the surface nice and clean and ready for the ceramic. The 2000 Corvette is polished and it looks so much better. Check that out. It's finally shiny. And of course, we need to keep it shiny. So we're doing what I always do to all of my cars, Avalon King, Armor Shield 9. We've got a brand new box here. We're gonna open it up. And uh, it's even been paint prepped with the uh, Avalon King paint prep. Hey, where's that stuff at, Scott? We, of course, the usual unboxing. Apply, smile, enjoy. We've got our Avalon King card that's uh, protected by the King. And of course we prepped it with the Avalon King IPA prep spray. This is a prep spray built just for ceramic coating. Um, 
it works out great. I mean, we used it on the dump truck and we loved it. So uh, here's our fresh bottle. This stuff is great. It really brings out the shine. It'll make it look even deeper than it does right now. And it will also help me take care of it for the long run. I'll just rinse it off whenever it needs clean. It should be good to go. And if you want to ceramic coat your car, you can get started at avalonking.com and use promo code WATCHJRGO for $25 off your Armor Shield 9 kit. Now, let's get into this. I'll throw a link in the description below. We've got our applicator microfiber wrapped around our little foam pad here. And we'll put a little grid of drops on here. I'm gonna do a middle row too, because I like to have quite a bit. Casey's got his own bottle. We got two bottles actually. And I'm gonna get started on the roof here. So we'll just start right here in the middle and do our typical grid pattern. We're gonna go all the way over here to the edge and then we'll switch and go the other direction back to the middle and then we'll buff off this section. Honestly, I'll probably do the whole roof before we buff it off. Avalon King is just so easy to apply doesn't throw a fit if you instantly go and uh, if you don't instantly buff it off. Time to buff off our completed Targa roof here. I'm so excited for this roof because it just comes right off. Oh uh, yeah, this looks nice. We got the whole crew in here buffing this stuff off. It's starting to look about as good as this car is gonna look. And uh, the one thing I do wanna mention is how easy this is to apply. Like I said, it doesn't flash super fast, so you can do like a full panel at a time or a half panel, depending on how fast you wanna work. Uh, you know, apply, buff off, and keep right on rocking. And also, that Avalon King card comes in the box. I'll show you a little trick. So people were talking about how you have to get this microfiber into the applicator here, which is true. It goes in there like that. You put the very foamy side down so it can fit into little crevices. And then you take this, the Avalon King card here, and you use it to push the microfiber into there. And then you end up with a super tight applicator setup that just works so much better. So there it goes, just like that. Now you don't have to fight the thing and you have a changeable surface, works out super well. So back to it. Well, there you have it, my newly polished ceramic coated. I mean, you guys saw what this looked like earlier. It was a mess. It was far worse than even I thought. And I thought it was pretty bad. What's, what's your take on it, Scott? It, was, it turned out really good, but it was, it was rough. It was. Start. It was much rougher than we thought for sure. The so. amount of contamination and iron that came out of it oh, yeah. was, and just way more dirt, just plain old dirt than I expected as well. Obviously the wheels, it has exposed the fact that the wheels are ruined as I always thought they were. I mean, they are knockoff. They're replica Z06 wheels. They're, they're not real ones. And even if they were real ones, they'd probably still be bad. Probably. So <laughs> that's what we're stuck with on the wheels. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. So our plan is obviously to get those C8 wheels coming and uh, put some brand new tires on it and this will be one awesome driver so come take a look at this car fully ceramic coated take a look at the interior we don't have the mats in yet but like wow i mean this thing was dirty 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 and then here in the back we have the top in the targa top holder if you've never seen how the c5 holds its targa it does it just like this there's little locking pins pull out flip down and then you can pull the top out and then when you want to store it back here you flip those pins in and it doesn't rattle around while you drive. So it has its own top holder in the back. We'll close this up. And the ceramic coating and the polish, everything came together to look really, really good. Obviously we didn't put tire shine on these tires that are probably going in the trash. So the tires are just left as is. Also, look at this. You guys remember how bad the gas cap was? It was a absolute disaster. And uh, with a touch of wet sanding again and some polishing, it looks reasonable. It looks reasonable. Not any more than that. I can't say. I mean, there's really nothing that could be done. It has been sanded on all the way through the paint. So it looks really good right now. And also when you have to put gas in it, you gotta have your handy dandy gas opener tool because the release inside doesn't work either. Like I've done it before successfully, I promise. Anyway, that's how you have to open this thing right now. The electronic release is not working. So that's way better. The whole interior is way better. The passenger seats hooked back up. The leather's clean. 
What a huge job. I should show you under the hood too because I think it's starting to look really, really good under there. Obviously it looks a little bit greasy, but this is that motor plast stuff. It dries and has this perfect sheen, just like the intake has right there. So uh, a little bit longer and that will look incredible. And I can't wait to open the hood up at some car shows now. It's much, much, much better. So there you go. That is a complete detail and ceramic coating on my 2000 Corvette C5. Pretty excited about this. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thank you to the detail dudes. I'll throw a link in the description below, a link to the Avalon King in the description below as well. And uh, like ceramic coat your cars, guys. I mean, I do it to all of mine and I love the outcome. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjrgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I'll talk to you next time. Well, Darrell's going to take the Corvette out and go take some pictures of it. Never even driven it with the top off.